M0 FXP Hamtech, welcome back to the channel. So we've got our Heltech LoRa board. Let's load up this firmware so we can have this nice color screen that you can see here and then control this device using our browser. On the left here, we've got full instructions that we've been following. We scroll down, we've got some screenshots of there of it of the device in use and the, the bin files that we're going to need and also the flashing software. And this is some just some details that you can look at the board. So I thought the board was black and white. There's no way I thought it was color, but it is color. And I also discovered this Facebook group as well. I'll put, I'll put a link in to that as well. So first thing you want to do, you need to download the, the tool for flashing the device, which is the, the window, you can the big white and green window you can see on the right hand side. So to download that tool, just go here and click download, okay? just this arrow here and it will download a zip and the tool is called, we're looking at our downloads folder, flash download tool and extract that to a folder. Now what I've done is just created a completely new folder just here. If you double click it, you'll see I've got the, the four bin files in there that we just dragged in there. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And the flashing tool is underneath, I've got it here. And when you double click the flashing tool here, the ESP32 S3 tool, what you'll see is this. You'll see this window here on the left, this small box, not the bigger box, the smaller box. And you're going to select with the drop down here, ESP32 S3, Sierra 3, not, not Charlie 3, develop and USB. And once you've got that and your Heltec is plugged into your PC, you'll also be able to select the COM, which is here at the very bottom. And just go right click device manager, like so, and then double click ports. And when your Heltec's plugged in, see mine there, see COM port 30. It's flashed a couple of times, but just here, COM30, so you know your COM number. So now let's find the bin files. We've got the, the software to load this. We'll find the bin files. Now I will put a it, put it, all this in the description and I will title this one bin files. Now it shows here there's a zip file and it gives you everything you need in one zip. So if we go to that zip file, just here, just right click on this and go open link in new tab and you'll get this window up here. And go down and find the zip file for, for this Heltec device. And there it is there, ESP32S3. Click that, or click that. And when you open that file, double click. And there's all your bin file and the actual loading file. So just extract it all to a folder. That's the easiest way. These are the four, you've got one, two at the top, three, four bins. Ignore the Tigo one, because that's for a, a different device, but you are going to need the flash tool. So just drag them all like this, just literally click on one, go drag it across the screen and drop it into one of these files that you've created. And to create a new file, you just go right click, new folder. I keep calling it file, but it's a folder you create. Name it tracker or something, uh, and then, um, and then you know where all your folders are going to be. Then up here I, on this main window. So first of all, you'll open up and you'll have that window we just showed you. When you click the ESP development tool, it'll be the small window first. When you click ESP, you know, these three items here and click OK, it opens up the bigger window, which you can see on the right hand side. And then you've got the three dots here at the top. You can start selecting one bin file at a time and follow the photo this video exactly and pause it. I would get this out of the way actually, don't want you in the way. And so you click the three dots and then look, you're choosing the bin file one at a time, okay? And bootloader bin, partition bin, boot app bin, and then the hell tech. Make sure you tick these four ticks here, these blue ticks, otherwise it won't work. And then here on the right hand side, you manually type in zero times 0, 0, 0, 0 at the top, 0 times 8,000, 0 times E, 0, 0, 0, and 0 times 10,000. Put them in, 
put this in, double check, pause, just make sure you've got them in the same order as me, you can't go wrong then. Then you select your com, make sure that the, the board rates match as well. So just making sure you select com 30 and right click on your device manager and just show you that the board rates do need to match. So you go to that com, double click, there's com 30, highlight it, right click, properties. And then across to port settings and look 115200, close it down, close this one as well. Right, so we and then down here the com at the bottom needs to match. And then I don't I've already done it, I don't want to run it again, but you just click start. And if you've done it correctly, it will zoom across. Now, when it comes to put it, putting it into firmware loader mode. I had to tinker a bit until it finally went in, but it wasn't silly hard. I held my finger down on this button here, and then I put my other finger on, this is the reset button, for about two seconds, let go, and, and then it just worked. And just keep tinkering, but you'll, you know, um, it went in, so I'm sure you'll do it. And at the end of it, it booted up exactly the same as you're seeing here now. The next thing I've got to do is get this to show up on my Wi-Fi because if I click my Wi-Fi now like so and it is turned on at the moment and we see it says here ESP32 LoRa move that over so I'll just show you again that's my Wi-Fi ESP32 LoRa click that and then connect the password which is shown to us Yeah, there's no in internet, but look, it is connected there. Look, no internet connected. The password is shown to us. It's actually here, APRS TH Network. This is the password here. Okay, that's the password that you want. You put that in and it connects. And then the idea then after that is you put into your browser, but mine isn't working at the moment, 192.168.4. Dot one enter ah it's working now that's good I rebooted it a couple of times and then we put in a d m i n in lowercase m i n a d m i n sign in and we're there okay you get this lovely control panel so I've only just set this up I have got it on my other board as well you just move this all this stuff out of the way So I, I sort of learn this with you, but I am super impressed that you get a color screen. So then we can start going to the radio. We can set the, this is a LoRa board. We can set the frequency, which I've not done yet. You've got eye gate, so we'll get my call sign in there. M0FXB, and we can enable it if we want. Go across, you can put in your location, you can use fix or GPS. I'm gonna enter all this later then we go to digi digi peter again call sign m0 fxb let's get my wi-fi in there because that to me i think is the most important one but you got tracker looks like if we add a sensor we've got all this weather stuff i don't know if the tracker has got a built-in sensor maybe it has tlm look at all that i mean this is this is excellent isn't it if it's already in the device VPN and then Wi-Fi. I find don't change the top one, change this one. So if I put in my my username of my broadband router and then connect, we shouldn't we should then be able to just connect to it without having to um, not to lose the lose the internet. All right, I think we'll leave it there for now. I'm gonna of course I'm gonna do more videos on this. I want to play around first, I'll get my antenna connected, my external antenna and play around and do a proper video on, on using this. But that was the installation and all the links will be in the description and the titles to help you find everything you need. Bye for now.